Hi friends, today I want to show 10 quality of life tips that can extremely increase your productivity in camera raw filter. See that intro and let's start. Okay, let's start with the first tip. Let's imagine our sliders look like something like this. And you're not so satisfied with the result and we want to begin from the scratch. Um, the whole process to reset the sliders will be very painful. That's you can double click on the arrow of the slide and we will reset immediately. If you want to reset all sliders from the panel, just hold the outer option key and click on the title of the panel. This will reset the all sliders of the panel. Let's move to the second tip and let's see if you use the auto option or you just finish your editing here, you are not satisfied with the result and want to make some changes to the slides. It will be a little bit time consuming to spot uh, every single hour of the slides to make correction. You can just go to the title of the slide, click on the title and make correction with the mouse. See how fast is it? It's way more faster than to spot every single hour. The third tip will help you for maybe one of the most common problem and exactly when we overexpose our image. To prevent that, just hold out or option key before move the slide. Let's see. The camera roll will show you where the image is overexposed already. Let's see. Okay, let's move back to the left and see where I have to stop. Maybe somewhere here. Let's see. And the result is perfect. The next trick is for targeted adjustment. Let's first go to curve. And here we have a button, Parametric Curve Targeted Adjustment Tool. Click on it, and then when click on the image, we will make changes on the curve corresponding to the whites of that zone. Let's see. If you want to decrease the whites, just click on some white zone and decrease the whites. If you want to increase the shadows, click on some dark zone and increase the shadows. It's way more faster than to search the perfect spot on the curve and make correction. This method works also with um, a color mixer with hue and saturation. Here we have the same button. Click on it and let, let's click on the sky and we can make some changes for the hue or saturation of the sky. The next tip will save you a lot of time, guys. Let's go to mask, click on object, and then we have this tiny little square button, click on it, and then select the subject that you want to mask. And the camera or filter will mask it for you. Very perfect. Amazing, guys. Then you just can make some adjustment on the master area. Let's talk about a little bit more for masking. And did you know that camera filter can detect all the people in the images and mask it for you? Let's return to the mask tab. And here we have the face of the person in our image. If we have a multiple people, we can see all of them here. In our case, let's click on our man. And here we have detected all parts of the body, quotes, facial hair, hair, lips, eyebrows, body skin, everything. If we want to change only the whites or colors of the quotes, just click on the quotes, click create button, and then we can edit only the quotes. I love it. This is one of my favorite feature in camera roll. The next tip is very useful for printing or maybe for portfolio for our website. Let's say our website is with white background, but here we see the image on uh, 
dark gray background. That's why you can right click on the background and just change the background. Maybe to white or black. Let's say white. Let's increase the padding a little bit and we'll see how exactly we look this image on our website. Maybe this situation we can decide it's too dark for a white background and increase a little bit exposure. Or maybe if you want to print this image and put it on the black wall, let's see on the black background, now it looks a little bit brighter. Then maybe we want to decrease the exposure a little bit. This is very helpful to imagine how exactly will look your image in your situation. Only three to go guys and the next tip is very simple but it's very powerful when we have to decide if our edits are good or not. Then just click the Q button and show you on the left before uh, and on the right after edits. Q again will split the image vertically, Q again will show you up before down after, Q again will split the image horizontally and Q again will see the image after edits. This is good because when see before and after side by side, may we will decide that our changes are not so good and just make some correction. This trick is also a big time saver guys. Okay, let's choose the first one and make some correction. Maybe a little bit darker sky, a little bit white on the shadows, maybe to increase the saturation a little bit, quality, and I think it's enough. Okay, but let's move to the second image, then let's move to the third image, and we just noticed that all the images are made at the same time, with same condition, with same white, and we just have to make the same settings over and over again. This is not necessary. Just select all the desired images, go on the already edited image and click this button. Then select all of the settings that you need to copy. I'll select all of them and click OK. And voila, all the settings are copied to the all selected images. This is very good guys, I love it. It's a big time saver for everyone. And the final trick, it's related to a new feature in Camera Raw Filter. And this is the Denoise tool. It's located in the Detail tab and here we have the Noise button. I prepared this very noisy image to show you the method. Uh, also, the Denoise tool works only with Raw files, with JPEG, won't work. Let's click the noise and see the results. And it's amazing, guys. Let's see here, before and after, before, after. Let's see here, beautiful. It's amazing, guys. I'll show you uh, big pictures uh, because this tool not only removes the noise, but makes overall correction of the image uh, for white balance, colors, whites, and remove the noise. It's one of my favorite new features. Well done Adobe, it's just perfect. Also, I have a full video for this new Denoise feature. I will put a link in the description. I hope you liked the video. Also hope that these tricks and tips will increase a lot of your productivity. Subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.